Hey, it's Anaya from Glam Graphics, and today I'm going to show you how I made this Glam Valentine's Day flyer. I'll be using Canva. If you don't have a Canva account, check the description below. Help me hit a thousand sales on my Etsy shop. Use the code below to get 30% off. First, I'm starting off on Canva with a canvas size of 1080 by 1080 px. I'm going to go to Elements and select the square and resize it and change the color to black. After I do that, I'm going to type in Valentine's Day background and I'm going to select the one that I like, resize it, and then that's going to go on the right side and be the background for that part. Now I'm going to add the glitter line in the middle and I'm just going to look up silver glitter background and then resize it. I need to add one more square at the bottom so I'm going to go to elements and then lines and shapes, change the color to white and then resize it. Now that I have the background done, I'm going to go add my model. So I'm going to go to my uploads and find the picture. Once I add it, I'm going to crop it and then resize it. And then I'm going to use the background remover since I have Canva Pro. Now I have my model in the right spot. I'm going to add one more box and then put it behind her. I'm going to change the color from black to this dark gray color and then change the transparency down to 75. Now it's time to add the text. I'm gonna make sure I put everything on the screen to make it easier. I'm changing the font to moon time and then the size to 153. I'm gonna copy and paste, type in my new text and then change the font to League Spartan. I'm changing the text size to 63 and then I'm going to center it underneath the valentines. I'm going to copy and paste the text, change the color to black. I'm going to copy and paste again, change the font size to 24, and make it the same font as the URL. Now I'm going to copy and paste the day sale text again because it's going to be the same font and type in the 30% off entire site. After I center that with the dates, I'm going to copy and paste the date part again. And that's where I'm going to put the code. I'm changing the font size to 36 and then I'm going to center it with the rest of my text. 
Now all I have to do is just add the Instagram and Twitter icons and then the text underneath. I'm going to copy and paste the code part and use that as the social media part underneath. And I'm going to center and then resize all of that together. Now I'm going to double check and make sure everything's in the right place and I don't have to move anything before I add the rose petals. Now I'm going to go back to elements and type in rose petals and I'm going to choose two different ones so it looks more natural and doesn't look like the same one over and over again. Now that I've added my two rose petals, all I'm going to do is copy and paste and place them around until I get the desired look. Now that everything looks good, we're all finished up and I'm going to save it. This is what the final product looks like. If you still want to buy this flyer from me, it's available in my Etsy shop. Go check that out now and help me hit my goal of a thousand sales. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with another video.